Simon, thanks for joining us. It's been a big year for uh, AMEC and, uh, and its members. How's it all going? Uh, yeah, a lot's been happening. Uh, we've been growing the organisation, had a lot of uh, new membership and uh, a totally full agenda on policy issues across the country. The mining tax is obviously very decisive. Can your members understand why the community could be quite for the mining tax and why they're actually very pro it? It is a complex equation and as a consequence trying to get people to understand that through all the current taxation system as well as state taxes, at PAYG and payroll tax and so forth there is already a massive return, 46% and if you start upping that much further and that's where we're going with the original RSPT and we still are with MRRT up around 46 mm. but instead of being 56 we become internationally uncompetitive for a lot of the smaller and mid-tier companies. The public have got to understand uh, and trust the current system that there is a redistribution of the wealth and it is done fairly inequitably. The consultation it was virtually non-existent. I mean, are they consulting now? Are they talking to organisations like yourself? Oh, absolutely. Now that they've done the deal, so to speak, uh, there is this uh, process of consultation which, you know, they're uh, being very public about its advocacy and um, we're still very keen to get the support from independents and others to make sure that uh, if this tax uh, finally gets its way through uh, Parliament that there are some serious amendments that will uh, uh, lessen the, uh, the risk to companies and also lessen the sovereign risk to Australia in the context of reinvestment by Australian companies back into Australian resources. Once we finish with the mining tax, we've also got now the carbon tax that we're heading down the track of. How's that going to affect your members? Look, it's, it's hard to tell at this stage because we just don't have any detail on the carbon tax. And that's one of the frustrating things about this government. You know, it announces a tax and you, you know, you're totally left in the dark as to what it actually means to your business. Because you've got no, de no details to run through any financial modelling and understand the true implications of these taxes to your business. So it, all it does is up the risk, you know, that sovereign risk again, as to why would you invest in Australia under the current government and the, and the policy arrangements that they come to? Well, I mean, Australia had the confidence of the whole world as far as, uh, as a place to go away and invest. Uh, are we suggesting now that the, the rest of the world is, is, is investing with caution? We're seeing, uh, you know, key states like uh, Queensland and Western Australia in particular drop right away from being in single figures uh, of a, you know, a good place to invest, uh, you know, right out to the, th the 30s, you know, as, as far as the ranking goes. And, uh, you know, we, you know, the government's really got to understand that this is going to have an impact. And you might not see it today or tomorrow, but down the track, uh, the fact that people aren't putting the level of investment into exploration in particular, um, that, that will come back and bite us. What are the bigger issues that are going to be facing your members and what is AMEC going to be looking at over the next couple of years? We're seriously concerned that uh, there will be a, uh, I guess, a, a complication in getting some of the approvals processes through for serious infrastructure corridors. Uh, the workforce, of course, is um, paramount. So, you know, they're, they're critically important to us. I mean, the, the tax regime, as we know, is, um, is vital and, and that'll still be on our radar. Uh, for some time to come. When you're not telling the federal government to lay off our, uh, our taxes, what is, what is Simon Benison doing? I'm sort of uh, wedded to my golf when I can get out there and do it and, uh, and the rest of the time sort of spent at home with the family and um, uh, trying to keep uh, my wife happy with her garden interests. <laughs> what do you love about Perth, Simon? The lifestyle that Perth affords you know, our population is uh, second to none and I think uh, all of us who travel and get to, to see what's going on in the rest of the world. When we come back here, we really um, do better appreciate you know, the environment we're living in.